Are you ready for some fun in the sun? If you're looking for a vacation destination this year that has a little something for everyone, a trip to the self-proclaimed world's most famous beach might be in order. Hey everyone, I'm Chad, and you've landed on the channel with travel tips and guides that won't waste your time. This coastal city is famous for racing, motorcycle rallies, and being an affordable place just to chill. In 2024, Daytona and the surrounding area will welcome several new businesses, even attractions for the whole family. And there have been others to make their debut since my What's New video early last year. Whether it's been a while or you're planning a first visit to Daytona, here are some of the new places you can check out to make your trip unforgettable. The gallivanting starts now. The Daytona Aquarium and Rainforest Adventure will be the first aquarium in the city, offering an interactive educational experience featuring animals from both land and sea. The 55,000 square foot facility will be located on the northwest corner of International Speedway Boulevard and Nova Road in the heart of Daytona Beach. Plans for the aquarium include close to 40 separate tanks including a 110,000-gallon shark tank. One of the things I really enjoy doing at these types of places is to pet stingrays. You'll be able to do that here. The indoor rainforest will feature multiple species of mammals and birds, such as sloths, armadillos, tamarins, toucans, and more. The aquarium is expected to open in early 2024. What's being described as an innovative ice cream infusion company has opened up shop at 831 East International Speedway Boulevard. Tennis Steve Trash serves rolled ice cream infused with freeze-dried candy. You can also indulge in their shaved ice, expertly crafted with a variety of flavors and toppings. Or try their pizza cones, which combine the convenience of a handheld cone with the deliciousness of a pizza. Finally, after years of construction, both sections of downtown's riverfront esplanade are open. Spanning more than a mile of intracoastal waterway on Beach Street, the 22-acre park pays homage to a waterfront park that existed here a century ago. The newly opened south section of the Esplanade has serene walking paths that run alongside a gentle stream, a scaled-down recreation of the original rose garden that was here, and a building housing public restrooms meant to recall a casino that once sat on the property. There's also a heartwarming tribute to Brownie the Town Dog, who lived during the 1950s. Riverside Johnny's is a vibrant eatery located on the Main Street Bridge, offering stunning views of the river. A modern twist on the classic bar and grill, the menu features a variety of dishes from burgers and salads to tacos and wings, as well as signature cocktails and craft beers. You can dine indoors or on the deck and watch your favorite sports team on one of the many big screen TVs. Timber Creek Village is a mixed-use development that will offer retail, dining, and residential options in the LPGA area of Daytona. 
The village is expected to include a McDonald's, Starbucks, 7-Eleven, Discount Tire, and O'Reilly's Auto Parts, along with a dental office. The development will also include just over 300 high-end apartments. Timber Creek Village should be completed by the end of 2024. A Texas-sized addition is coming to the Bucky's at LPGA Boulevard and I-95. The gas station convenience store is working on a car wash that will come in at 235 feet long, making it one of the longest in the country. The car wash will offer soap, wax, and shine services, a convenient way to keep your car nice and clean while traveling. This area now has a stretch of beach for dogs and their owners to enjoy sunrise to sunset. It's a half mile stretch of sand between Millsap Road and Rockefeller Drive in Ormond Beach. Pet owners must keep their dogs leashed, perform necessary cleanup, and have proof of rabies vaccination. Just wanted to highlight a few other things you should know before signing off. One of the nation's fastest growing cookie chains, Crumble, has opened a location across from Daytona International Speedway in the shops at One Daytona. Also, it was widely reported in 2023 that a Senior Frogs would be built on this beachside parking lot south of Harvey Avenue. As of January 2024, nearby shopkeepers tell me there's been zero progress on the project. We stopped by and the property is still being utilized as a parking lot. And one more just to throw in, my wife and I recently tried this new churro shop at the Tanger Outlets. This peanut butter concoction was, let me tell you, it was so good. Just thought I would share that with you, you know, as a bonus. And that's a wrap, a rundown of what's new in Daytona Beach for 2024. From newly opened restaurants and dessert shops to the city's riverfront esplanade and very first aquarium, there's plenty to check out on your next visit to the world's most famous beach. As always, thank you so much for gallivanting with me. I'm Chad. See you next time.